Howdy folks, Daniel Rubino here with WP Central. I just wanted to give you guys a quick sneak peek at a new app about to hit the marketplace called Fuse. It's an RSS reader, but that's an understatement. This is much more than that. It's one of the best designed apps I've come across yet on Windows Phone. Uh, that's I'm not being uh, hyperbolic there. I'm pretty positive this is the case. It's made by Rudy Hewn, who did a TV show, another favorite app of ours. But this one even is even nicer than that. Let's just launch it and I'll show you why. This is, uh, what you're going to see first is one of three themes that it does. And you can see it's updating itself right now, and that's what that little flashing was. So those are the feeds, and of course you can add them, and I'll show you how you do that in a moment. But let's just look at it quickly. We can hit, uh, see if I can actually tap these. It's kind of hard when I'm shooting a video. So this is WP Central, and it brings up all our stories in the feed. And so you can hit the the story, but look at just love the design of this. It's just so smooth. It's it pops out. The colors are great. You know, it uses your theme uh, for the accent color. When you hit the title, look at all these options you get. You get see full article, share on Facebook, share on Twitter, send by email, Insta paper, read it later, share using QR code. Check this out. You tap that and it generates a QR code. So if you want to share it with a friend, they can just take their phone, scan that, and then uh, presumably open up the link on their, uh, on their device. Uh, I've not seen that yet done on any other app. I thought that was brilliant. We can do uh, share on Twitter, you know, Facebook, but it's just a, a very nice app. I love to watch this when it goes back. But that's just gorgeous looking. Um, I don't know what else to say about that. I was just really impressed by how good the graphics are. Well, let's see if I can get in here. We'll go to the settings and I'll show you the other themes. And this is the one problem with this app. All the themes are so good that you're not going to know which one to use. So this is actually called, like the, this is like the Fuse uh, picture app. So this actually kind of looks like the iPad app called Fuse. I believe it's called, if I'm correct. It's been a long time since I've used my iPad. But now this one is just as nice too. You have your different feeds, and it pulls down the images, of course, and then they slide this way. Once again, we can launch a story, brings it down. Now look at this, if you want to see what other stories are on Vulture right now, you don't need to go back, you just tap the Vulture thing here, and you can just slide across the bottom and it brings down all the other stories. Tap it it again and it goes away. Once again hit the title and you get all your options again. So that is theme number one. Let's go and do another one. So that was called Ribbon uh, Ipsum, which I think is my favorite. And then Square is also just really nice. Oops. So we'll just leave this on for a second and you'll see what this is very reminiscent of. You should start like flipping around. Basically this is like, there you go. This is a Metro Windows theme. Uh, it's, it's like having one giant screen of live tiles. And so those are your stories. And so you can look at it this way, flips around, gives you a little bit about the story itself. So once again, you can bring down all the information, slide across that way. Now personally, I like Ipsum. I think this one is just really, just elegant looking. Let's go to the other settings. So look at this, you have folders. So you can, you can really add a lot, a lot of feeds to this. So you can create different folders for news, technology. This will handle it all. To add a feed, you just hit the plus button, type in what you're looking for. Uh, let's see. Of course, I spelled York wrong. Can we do it again? So hit New York Times, and this is what's great. You don't have to manually enter in the RSS, right? It's going to just go out there and search for RSS feeds. Makes it just brain dead simple. You find what you're looking for, you tap it, you hit the check mark, it'll add it. You can even now select it, you can hit the little edit button. You can change its title, you can change its group folder, 
or even its browsing method, of which you have different versions, Google, Mobilizer, Instapaper. So you can manipulate all that. If you want to move it, you grab these little arrows. Let's see if I can do it. It's a little, a little tricky. There we go. And then I'll slide it around so you can change the ordering. But that's basically it. If you want to delete it now, of course, you select it again. Selection, this is the only complaint I have maybe, is that the choosing it sometimes is a little hard. But you can delete them that way. Here's your social, Facebook, Twitter, read it later, Instapaper. Uh, startup, you can have it choose to update the feeds, change new item state to unread. And that's basically about it. Here you can choose your folders. See if I had different folders, they would appear here, of course, and then you can select them. And then, of course, you have your refresh. But I'm in. I'm just really in love with this app. It's just gorgeous looking. Um, I'm not really sure what the price is going to be. I've got to check. Uh, but we'll be doing a full review of this, of course, when it comes out. But uh, great app. Uh, this is a great example of Windows Phone 7 programming. Really impressed by it. Good job, Rudy. And hopefully, you guys will take a look at it. Of course, there'll be probably be a free version. of the ad supported, I imagine. Uh, but we'll do more coverage. So there you go. Take care, everybody.